Good evening, friends. Welcome to the Monday Night Play Along Slow Jam. I'm Tyler Grant, right here with you. As we've been every Monday night this new year so far. Check my tune in real quick and we'll get started. Um, this week we're starting on This Train is Bound for Glory, I believe. Yep, in the key of G. So the way this works, if this is your first time joining us, is that I'll give you a quick run through of the song. The idea is that, you know, this isn't necessarily a lesson, it's just an opportunity to play along with a bunch of standards, which are pretty simple song forms. Of course, I post the set list a few days ahead of time in case you need to do some research of your own. Um, and then I will count you in and you'll kick off the song and we'll play it back and forth. So the idea here being if some of these songs are unfamiliar to you or if you're not really up on some of them, that's okay. That's what we do in this bluegrass style is we get together and just play the songs and that gives us an opportunity to learn them and go back and study the ones that we want to learn that much more. But the idea here is to just do the best you can, play by ear and um, give yourself that opportunity to really respond in the moment and you get better and better and better at seeing the patterns and seeing the common threads between these songs and these melodies and then how you would approach them on your instrument. All right, so I'm gonna give a quick check on the systems, make sure everything's working. Maybe this could angle a little bit this way. And then we'll get started. So there we go, Facebook is working. Mute it. Okay. So here we go. In the key of G, this song goes a one and a one and a one. over when we're singing though this train is bound for glory this train same changes this train is bound for glory this train there's a stop coming up this train is bound for glory no one can ride it but the righteous and the holy this train is bound for glory this train so we do that stop when we uh, are singing but on the instrumental breaks and the kickoff, we don't stop. We just play right through that. So if I'm kicking it off, I might go something like... Something like that. Um, so why don't you go ahead and kick us off. I'll get a click track here going. Um, let's see, I saw somebody comment about the YouTube. There should be a YouTube stream as well. Let's see if that's working. Yep, that's live on YouTube as well. Shout out to all the folks picking along on YouTube. Okay, here's our click track. Let's find a good tempo. It's probably a good tempo to get started. Go ahead and kick us off on This Train is Bound for Glory in the key of G. A one, two, one, two, three. It 
This train is bound for glory, this train. This train is bound for glory, this train. This train is bound for glory, no one can ride it but the righteous and the holy. This train is bound for glory, this train. This train don't carry no gamblers, this train. This train don't carry no gamblers, this train. This train don't carry no gamblers, no crap shooters or midnight ramblers. This train don't carry no gamblers, this train. Of course. This train is bound for glory, this train. This train is bound for glory, this train. This train is bound for glory, no one can ride it but the righteous and the holy. This train is bound for glory, this train. My train. This train don't carry no liars, this train. This train don't carry no liars, this train. This train don't carry no liars, no hypocrites and no midnight flyers. This train don't carry no liars, this train. Of course, this train is bound for glory. This train is bound for glory, this train. This train is bound for glory, no one can ride it but the righteous and the holy. This train is bound for glory, this train. Play it. Last chorus. This train is bound for glory, this train. This train is bound for glory, this train. This train is bound for glory, no one can ride it but the righteous and the holy. This train is bound for glory, this train. Alright, remember this little cue is to end the song or to stop. Uh, if I did that, that would be a tag. Okay, fun song, wonderful sing-along. I'm going to adjust the light here real quick. I, I changed this around my scene a little bit. This might help a little, we'll see. Um, okay, anyhow, uh, moving right along, we've got Hand Me Down My Walking Cane, another song in the key of G. And this has, you know, lots of cool old versions. Um, I'm doing sort of the version I learned from Norman Blake, which goes in G. And a one, and a one, to the five, back to the one, to the four, four. You'll see me often hit that G7 chord or the, the seventh chord of whatever the one chord is, heading to the four. That's a very common thing if you don't know that. Uh, when I'm on a G chord and I'm getting ready to go to a C chord, I'll hit that G7 and that pulls you up to that C chord by way of a, what we call a secondary dominant. Um, okay, so that's the song. And if I'm gonna kick it off, I might go something like, let's see. Um, hand me down
Okay. So let's find Let's just stay right around that same tempo. And again, this is this is much slower than the song goes, but we're at the slow jam. We're taking things really slow and staying in a real comfort zone uh, for, for players of all levels. So here we go. Kick us off on Hand Me Down, My Walking Cane in the key of G. One, two, one, two, three.
sins they have overtaken me. All right, hand me down that walking cane. How's everybody doing out there? I like watching here on YouTube because I can pause and rewind your kickoffs and learn them. Cool. Well, that's one advantage of YouTube, I suppose. How's everyone doing on the Facebook? And remember, if there's a part that you want to come back and get to after the show, just kind of make a note of what time this is and come on back to it. Hi, Colin from England. Hi, Jesse. Hi, Dennis Carver. Hi, David. Breaking your Facebook fast. I've seen you on the Instagram, though. It's good to take a Facebook fast. Hi, Kathy. Nice to, nice to have you playing along on the Dobro. Hi, James in New Jersey. Dave Schmidt. Hi, cabin friend Fran in Buffalo. Hi, Jay. Hi, Rodney. Hey, Alex. Cool. Thank you all for being here. Hi, Terry Stratton from Kentucky. Adam from Portland. Right on. Hi, Lee. Great to see you all. I'll check in as we go through the show here tonight. Storms on the Ocean. Okay, we played this once a few weeks ago. And I just think it's a great song and a, and a simple song. And it uh, comes from the Carter family, of course. And uh, Lester and Earl did a cool version. It goes in C. A one and four and one and one and one and a five and a one. One. to the chorus. Four, four and one. One and five and one. Two to the four, four and one and one. And a one and a five and a one. Okay. So there you go. Um, if I'm kicking it off, I'm going to do kind of like the Mother Maybell thing. simple version of that simple melody that's all you got to do okay so I got my little cheat sheet because I don't have this one memorized quite yet go ahead and kick us off in three four time here I'll find a good click one two three two so that's the click I'll give you four whole measures okay one two three two I'll give you four of those to count you in. Here we go. Storms on the ocean in the key of C. One, two, three.
there verses in there but you know we want to leave plenty of time for picking and we got to get through all these songs so we don't always do all the verses to every song but there you go you can go get into that one if you'd like and uh, memorize all those verses um, next we have the gal left behind me now this is an instrumental in the key of C and it goes you can play this in any key but uh, but we're gonna be in C for this one this is one that I coached when I was doing some online workshops. I've used this as an instructional uh, tune for many years. So if you've ever taken any workshops with me, you've probably learned this one. Uh, if you need a tablature, um, go ahead and shoot me a message and I will send it to you. I know I got some requests last week for Rebecca and I couldn't find that notation. Um, but anyway, keep trying me. And if I don't get back to you, to you just try me again because uh, I've got a lot of correspondence and I do my best to keep up with everyone. But I would encourage you to learn this by ear. That's the better way to learn it. You internalize it better. Uh, but if you need the tab, that's fine. Just, just hit me up. Um, and it's notated in regular notation as well if, if you're not playing guitar. Um, so, Gal Left Behind Me in C. I'll sing it and play the changes. And a one, one, and four, four, and one, and a one, and a five. through two times each. I'm going to kick us off because it makes more sense if I kick us off on the instrumentals. That's the way I've always done it. It seems to make more sense that way. Um, um, so I'll kick it off and I'll play it once, then you play it and I'll play it again, you play it again. Twice each. And no tag on this one, we'll just end it. Da, 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 da. Bam. Okay. Slow this down a little bit. Here we go.
did it. Good old instrumental there. I hope that tempo was all right for everybody. I'm trying to keep the tempo slow, but I'm also trying to get you going toward actual performance tempo there. Hi, Deborah from Portland. Thanks for being here. Hi, Jack from Ohio. Hey, Matthew, consider taking the click track off. Uh, is the click track too loud? I'll, I'll, I'll turn it down a little bit. Kind of need that click track to keep us on time. Hi, Dave. Hey, Bear. Cool. Thanks for jamming along. Hope you're enjoying that Martin D28. Hi, John Keegan from Florida. Yeah, hey, Buffalo's too cold. I'm in San Diego right now. Hi, Derek from Golden. Hey, Amy from Virginia. Hi, Eric. All right, Eric on mandolin and Molly on the bass. Sweet. Up in Steamboat Springs. Matt from NorCal. Chris. And thank you all for being here. Wonderful. Okay, so next we have a little Annie. So I wanted to do another tune in C, a song in C, I should say. And I believe we did this one last week, and it's just a great song that we can never quite get enough of. Um, so here we go, little Annie in the key of C. It goes like this. And a one, and one, and a four. And a one, and a one, and a four, and a one, and a five, and a one. Then we go to the five for the chorus. Five and five back to one, and a one, and a one, and a five, and a one, and a one. So uh, we're just going to be picking on the A part, on the verse part, um, and if I'm doing a kickoff, I'm going to go something like this. song a lot so I kind of have a bit of an arrangement worked up I was trying to sort of simplify it uh, but just play that melody and sneak in a little bit of strum or cross pick or of course your banjo roll you fiddle players know what to do fiddle players are good at kicking songs off um, so cool I, I turn the click track down one notch see see how that goes um, all right little Annie you're gonna kick us off and I'm going to crank this up just a wee bit. Okay, that tempo, and you kick us off here in the key of C. Here we go. One, two, one, two, three.
sun shines down on the mountain And the wild sheep are wandering all alone And the birds and the bees are humming Make me think the springtime won't be very long When the spring That song does come from the Carter family. I'm not sure if they wrote it or collected it in their neighborhood as they did many of the songs around their region there near Bristol, uh, Poor Valley, uh, Virginia. Um, and there's versions of that, of course. You know, uh, all my California picking buddies uh, know the, the Vern Williams version, and I kind of know the Delmore brothers, not the Delmore brothers, the Lily brothers, Lily brothers version. So they're ever so slightly different. But anyway, uh, do your own thing with that, of course. And remember, a public service announcement, you can noodle around as much as you want playing instrumental backup while I'm singing. You don't have to always strum. Working on your rhythm parts is good, of course. Um, but this is for you to practice whatever you're practicing, right? So, so even though you might just get one break on a song like this, you can be you know, practicing that break along with the verse or like doing some tasty instrumental backup against what I'm singing, you know. So do your thing. Practice what you want to practice. Okay, moving right along. Blue Ridge Cabin Home. Hey, it's a cabin song. Okay, I'm going to capo too. We're going to be in the key of A for this one. So wherever you like to play your A, A chord. buddy Clayton Campbell would just say A chord. That would mean key of A, you know. Wherever you like to do your A chord, get yourself set up there. And this is a straight 1-4-5. You know, most of you know this one, of course, but it goes. And a 1 and a 1 and a 4 and a 4 and a 5 and 5. Remember to check out the Lester and Earl version, and of course the Bluegrass Album Band. The kickoff is the same uh, on the banjo, they go. That little pinch, you know. There's no, it's just a pinch. And that's just a cool thing. It's one of those little tidbits of authenticity that is good to pick up and take with you to the jams. So my kickoff would be something like, 
to do it get ready and kick us off on Blue Ridge Cabin Home in the key of A and we're gonna turn this up just a little bit here we go Blue Ridge Cabin Home kick us off one two one, two, three.
how's everybody doing out there? Randy knows the cabin. Cool. Carter Family Tour in 18. Yeah, the over at the Carter Family Fold. That's cool, Matt. Hey, Adam. Hey, Wayne in Duluth. Reg in Duluth, Minnesota. Cool. All right. Well, thank you all for being here and picking along. We got a handful of more songs here in the slow jam. Nelly Kane in D. So we're keyed down a little bit from the original uh, Hot Rise song, which originally is in E. And Tim O'Brien has such a good voice, good high range. And if I was standing up and performing this at a jam, I could certainly do it in E. But I like to kind of, some of these songs I might key them down just for comfort, since I got a long night here. This is only the first of three, first of three sets to go through. And I hope that you all stick around for most of them. Remember that I encourage everybody to push themselves beyond their comfort zone in the tempo range. And um, don't be afraid of the mid-tempo or the fast jam. I want you to, to come back and, and, uh, and play, those, play those songs at those tempos. Even if you have to simplify what you're playing, it's a great exercise, and that's part of the Bluegrass School, to get up to these actual performance tempos of these songs. So Nellie Kane in D. I'm going to remain capoed here, and I'm going to play out of C position. And uh, the kickoff and the breaks kind of have this little version of the melody that goes, and I'll, I'll, I'll shout the chords. One, 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 and one. One, 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 one to the six, and five back to one. Uh, and on the verses, you'll pause there, but on the breaks, you don't. So, so let me start that over so you can hear the break or the kickoff in context. One, 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 and one. Sattel would do that little, little lick on the guitar while the banjo and the mandolin played that uh, kickoff. So I'll play the kickoff for you. It's something like... Uh, Some type of roll he would do on the mandolin that went along nicely with the banjo roll. Anyway, as long as you get that melody in there, I will be very proud of you and happy that you kicked it off proper, which you're about to do. Nellie Kane. Right about that same tempo in the key of D. Kick us off. One, two, one, two, three.
She took me on to work that day, help her till the land. In the afternoon we planted seeds, in the evening we held hands, in the evening we held hands. Her blue eyes told me everything a man could want to know. It was then I realized I could never go, I could never go. If you don't know much about the history of Hot Rise, which I think mo many of you probably do, um, Colorado-based group, um, just amazing bluegrass band. They really kind of, I mean, were almost revolutionary when they came out in the late 70s and, and did albums all through the 80s, and then and then disbanded for many years, and then uh, and then we lost Charles Sattel, of course, uh, tragically, of cancer, young. And then they reformed eventually uh, with Brian Sutton on guitar and did an album a few years ago and Hot Rise, you know, they're some of our Colorado heroes, of course. Hi, Aaron. Fiddling along. Awesome. Cool. Hey, Alex, a bit of the cabin fever. That's right. Hi, Elizabeth. Thanks for being here. Hey, New Jersey Bluegrass Jams. Fran. Cabin friend, Fran. Cabin. <laughs> Cabin okay, as we say. All right. Um, Liberty. This was a request from my friend Deb in Durango, I believe, requested this. Um, Liberty is just a tune you got to know, okay? Um, and it goes like this in the key of D. I'm going to stay capo 2 playing C position myself. Um, most of you fiddle, fiddle players learn this right off the bat, and the mandolin players and whatnot. But everyone needs to know Liberty. It goes... A dad a one and one and one and a one and a four 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 and a four and a one and one one and a one and a one and a five and a one and a da 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 four and a da 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 one and one and one and a da da one and a five and a one one and a one and one and a one Actually, okay. Five and a five and a one. I'm not going to the five chord early enough. I'll start over. From the top. Uh, da da one and one and one and a one and a four and four and four and a four and a one and one and one and a one and a five and a one. That's how it goes. It goes to that five chord a little earlier. Uh, and then the B part. Uh, you try that at home. One and a one and a one and a one. One and a one and a five. And a one and a one and a one and a one and a five and a one. Alright, 
Anyway, let's play this through three times, okay? Me, you, me, you, me, you. Give you a chance to pick up on the tune a little bit. I'm gonna play it pretty straight uh, the first time. So if you don't know the tune, you can learn that melody. And pretty much whatever instrument you're on, I'm gonna play just the straight melody first time through. So me, you, me, you, me, you. And then tag it at the end, do a little tag. Here we go, Liberty in the key of D. I'm going to take it nice and slow. Here we go. I'll kick it off with Taters.
right, there you go, Liberty. Cool tune. Sometimes you get lost up the neck. <laughs> I do sometimes with that capo. Um, but hey, work up some fun breaks on that. It's a melody that you can deviate from, of course. And this is a tune that comes from a British tradition. I was at, at a Sore Fingers camp in the UK and one of the students was telling me um, about the, the name of this certain British uh, fiddling and dancing tradition and I forgot what they were called. Anyway, that's where it comes from. And uh, here in, in the New World, it's called Liberty. And that's how it goes. And, you know, this is uh, one of Bob Will's favorite fiddle tunes. So he, he played this in, uh, in the Western Swing era as well. Okay, doing my time in B. Let's see. This one we can increase the tempo a little bit. Okay, so know that this one is sort of like a long 12 bar blues in a way. Uh, it goes in B, sorry. I'm going to capo up. I'll be capo four playing a G chord, but wherever you got your B chord happening, let's get it all set up here. So this one goes. With their ball and chain. So you follow the vocalist. One and a five and a one, Lord, Lord. Then go to the four. Then back to one. And to the five. So on those first like one chords, that can be held for an indeterminate length of time. You, you'll just hear the vocal um, and that'll cue you when to go, call me by a number, not a name, Lord, Lord, to the seven chord, then up to the, you know, the G seven, B seven, the one dominant seventh, and up to the four, so that'll cue the four chord. And from there, I'll keep them the same length every time. However, the kickoff is just uh, sort of an abbreviated version of the first line. The kickoff goes, and the breaks will go. it off I'm gonna go something like that some version of that okay so go ahead and kick us off on that little bit there for doing my time in the key of B. A one, two, one, two, three.
kill my time Gotta do my time With an aching heart And a worried mind Play it again We kind of slow down, so watch me. Now it won't be long. Just a few more days. I want to settle down and quit my rowdy way. That gal of mine With that gal of mine She'll be waiting for me When I done my Lots of different ways to end that, but that's kind of the Flat and Scruggs version. Um, I wouldn't have stopped strumming. I would have just kind of slowed down instantly on that last five chord, but I had to reach over and turn off the click. There you go, doing my time. One of the first bluegrass songs I learned, um, I picked up a Flat and Scruggs, you know, compilation, uh, or the complete, uh, the complete Mercury recordings, I believe, their early, early uh, releases. Um, and when I was learning this, so just, just kind of a little teachable moment here, um, I used to go to the local bluegrass jams here where I grew up in, in San Diego County, and on Tuesdays they would meet at the Fuddruckers, you know, um, and there'd be a bunch of people jamming in circles outside, and then they have an open mic inside, and I would just kind of hang around outside the circle and kind of get into it a little bit once I knew a little bit more what I was doing, and I would play along and I'd kind of just observe what the songs were they were playing. And then I would go back and during that week I'd say, okay, I want to learn some of these songs or some of these instrumentals they're playing and really study up on this. And just going there, like you're coming here, you know, just going there would, would teach me a lot of these songs. Um, but I really wanted to actually learn them and learn some of the words and all that kind of thing. And I would go out and have to like buy the CDs, you know what I mean? You buy the, buy the album uh, and I would buy a CD just to learn one song I was looking for. Uh, nowadays, it's all there. Just look at it on YouTube or Spotify, you know, it's all there for you. So it's much easier these days. So what I'm saying is, uh, take this like you would a regular bluegrass jam, and whatever songs you're really interested in, study up on those this week, you know, and then I'll, I'll bring them back around again uh, in one of the upcoming weeks, and you can have another shot at that. Okay, last song of the slow jam, and then we'll do a quick changeover. Those of you who are jumping right in here for the mid-tempo, we got one more song here on the slow jam, but we're creeping into mid-tempo zone at this point anyway. And uh, then I'll, I'll shut it down real quick, and it'll just take a couple minutes to get the video back up for the mid-tempo jam set list, okay? So here's the last song of the slow tempo jam. Uh, ain't gonna work tomorrow. Yep, in B. And this goes, one and one and one. Five and a one, four and four and one, and a one and five and a one. And if I'm kicking this off, I would go. This one tends to go by very fast. We're gonna keep it in the slow tempo zone, but it's gonna be a little quicker than we were, so here we go. Um, some songs are actually played fast because 
they're suited to be played fast. This one's easier to play fast than some of them, if that makes sense. So we're gonna play this right about right about this tempo, okay? So um, go ahead and kick us off in the key of B. Ain't gonna work tomorrow. One, two, one, two, three. It's a rainy day here in San Diego County tomorrow because Southern California is dry as a bone right now. I'll tell you what. And I know we need that snow in Colorado and the mountains as well. I hope we all get some precipitation this week. Okay, thanks everybody. I'm going to flip this off really quick and be back in just a couple minutes for the mid-tempo jam. So I will see you there. Remember, if you click on the little tab that says be notified whenever this page goes live, then you'll just get notified when it goes live, if you're playing along on the Facebook. If you're on YouTube, uh, just refresh uh, in a couple minutes and you'll see that live video. Okay, 
See you in a minute.